the, the next question, the next question is, I think it's somehow tied to this one. It's just like, how um, do you date, date success? Because <laughs> now this is like transactional. When you have money, I have you, you understand? So like, how do you expand you teach people to like date successfully? You understand? We're talking about knowing yourself, which is part of it. You have to be secured, you understand, for getting into a relationship. You have to know your boundaries, mm-hmm. what you want to do, you understand? Know what you can, what, what you can allow. How do you date successfully? Now that word successfully is very strong. <laughs> Relative. Yeah. <laughs> yes, because... Um, The fact that the the dating did not lead to marriage doesn't mean that that relationship wasn't successful. True. They have fulfilled that aspect or that purpose, their purpose in your life at that season. It doesn't mean I know how while we're growing up, it's like, oh, the first person I date should be the first person I get oh, married man. to. <laughs> when maturity hits you, you know it doesn't work like that. You yeah. probably will have to date multiple people before you eventually get married. For some people, it works out like just the first person you date glory be to god but for some people you probably will have to date multiple people which is why i like to um exclude sex from marriage because i mean how many people do you how many yeah, sexual you want together? Sex mm-hmm. yeah but then dating you might have to date multiple people and then the fact that you guys didn't get married doesn't mean it was not a successful transaction we are not enemies it's just that we are not going to be married Mm. And we can see like friends that. Those because that a lot of people to give themselves headache that oh my god we're dating now let us be exclusive we have to be together we're getting married we're having children like from the first day first month you're already planning that should be and I feel like you we'll have that but when you see that it's not working don't don't uh, it's not a yeah, that I so I think for me though like I mentioned something similar about like not not saying um the person I, I go out with I must get married to the person. But at the same time I think that mm-hmm. I wouldn't just go into a relationship without knowing that the outcome that's what I plan for. Be. Yeah, should be marriage. Of course that there, yeah. there's not a flexibility, you know, there are people that already got their wedding down. Even while my very first and only relationship was leading towards marriage and all that, I still did not know the type of gown I wanted. That's to tell you I wasn't fixated on I wasn't fixated on marriage. For me, relationships have to be working out first before you get into marriage. Mm-hmm. People just feel like when I'm when I get into the marriage, so we'll, we'll figure it out. Yeah. No, I feel like there are basic things. You guys have to be sure of your the way you walk through um arguments, all of that. Like you have to be sure that your communication is on a hundred percent, right? So mm-hmm. for me, while I would say don't be too rigid, I must marry this person get into the relationship with the idea that I'm dating to get to know if this person is compatible with me enough for me to marry this person. And if the, if the answer is no, then you can pull back. But I don't believe in like aimless dating and all of that. That being said, with regards to um, dating being successful and all of that, I agree that um, successful is relative. For me, I would say it's mm-hmm. more or less what you were able to learn. But at the same time, we have to know that when we go into relationships, sometimes detaching from people can really result in some emotional baggage. So you don't want to be carrying so much baggage from yeah. relationships that when you now get to finally meet the, the person, and then it's mm. a problem. Detaching yourself from, from that commitment mentality and so many other mm. things is a it's process, a you know? And so for people, yeah. that process takes a year, it takes two years and all of that. So why would you want to put yourself in that place multiple time in the, with the idea of okay being um, relationships being a, a learning curve like so if your relationship again in quotes like people would say wasn't successful what did you take out of that relationship and what are you what is it going to help you i feel like i learned a lot of lessons that will help me um subsequently in like subsequent relationships and all of that so um, I wouldn't say go around, you know, aimlessly without learning from, like, aimlessly to learn from relationship and say that, okay, this person was there to teach me this. No, it's it's just a lot of baggage in my, I would prefer <laughs> to a large extent that we learn some of these things from, you know, and, and that's where your question comes in. How can you be successful in a relationship? You learn some of these things prior to getting it. A lot of us are getting into relationships that were not prepared. 
you know mm-hmm. like there's a lot of preparation i feel that comes into being in a relationship so who do you have a model a good model of what it looks like to have for me for example a christian relationship it doesn't have to be your parents but you have couples around that you kind of like see their lives and say okay a godly relationship and a peaceful and beautiful relationship is possible so there's that and then again it might not be true books because there's this emphasis of how many relationship books have you read you can read a bunch of relationship books and still be very poor in terms of relating with people so like but how prepared have you read books have you had discussions like this have you listened to discussions like this you know so those are things that can kind of like help you prepare yourself and not even leave a relationship you think mm. so basically you're saying that most of the things that um to, to make a relationship or yeah successful is something you have learned personally before even going to the relationship it will it will help a lot yeah, most, yeah yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, wrapping up, um, we are going to talk about like just a few tips on um, healthier dating habits for people, you understand, that will not lead to relationship disaster, you understand? So like healthier dating habits that people are supposed to know or look out for uh, when they're going to a relationship or when they're in a relationship. Okay. <laughs> um, I can go first, sorry. <laughs> so I would think one of, um, one of the habits is um communication like mm-hmm. communication skills you know they yeah they don't yeah sometimes they don't teach us these things in, in school <laughs> you know they don't not so they, don't, they don't teach us you know <laughs> and relationships have to do with it's not the smartest of people feel in like relationships right because again this is the emotional part of things so you might be very smart or intellectually smart but you're emotionally dumb <laughs> I just had, I probably use the word dumb. So for me, when I say communication, so maybe you're, it's angry to, it's, it's okay to be angry or it's okay to feel upset about something that your partner has, has done, but how do you communicate that to the person? You know, I, I feel like for me previously, I would tend, in as much as I like people to communicate and have conversations with me, when it comes to someone hurting my feelings, you know, I would tend to draw back. And so there was also the part of also, which I think is okay. Some people say it's okay. There's also the part of maybe over communicating, over expressing yourself. Okay, this is how I felt like at every single thing. And like the other person you're with, I and mean, again, it's some other people don't mind you communicating how you feel everything in your mind or something. But if you're with a partner that feels overwhelmed or feels like when you say, okay, I'm not cool with this, it feels like, oh, um, you are saying they are failed in life. You know, you have to be sensitive to that. So communication requires, yeah, communication requires a lot of things, knowing like the person that you're with. And and so if, if their communication style is not compatible with yours, it's okay to pull out. Um, another thing I would say is expectations, you know, um, or I expect, yeah, I expect my 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 partner to, and, and, and sometimes it's okay to have those expectations but your partner doesn't even know that you expect them to do certain certain things you know and that's where communication also you know comes in and all of that mm-hmm. you know I am well I was with my when I was with my dad my dad used to do this my dad used to but this person is not your dad or when I was or when I when I view relationship this is what I expect a person to do but that person is not in your head to know these things so if you have expectations it's good to you know let that to be successful everybody will start out trying to pretend do not pretend just mm. say who you are as a person what you can take what you cannot take very and important don't start cooking fresh food every day in the relationship when you're not if you cannot exactly like don't even start no, uh-huh. I'm doing material that- 100 years when you're just material 10 years in the relationship Amen. They might get married. Like those are just like I will just stop so that Glory will give you the rest. But those are like three things I think to a large extent that mm-hmm. like be yourself again. And being yourself means that you know who you are. So you're able to tell this person this is the way from the dating. You're able to say this is how I am. Thank you. Mm-hmm. I, I feel me. I feel before before the relationship experts. What you say, me feel. I just feel like um. Don't assume because a lot of people just assume a lot of things in the relationship and they just think they just think for the other person, you understand? 
Don't assume that, okay, this is what is wrong with this person. Just, just be clear, you understand? Assumption kills a lot of things because in your head, you're like, oh, this person is so, 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 and so, the person is like, I'm not like that, you understand? You're the one thinking about it in your head. And that thing again, that stop mm-hmm. comparing, you already talked about it, stop comparing um, your partner with somebody else and just, it says you already carry your cross, don't be carrying your cross and be going, <laughs> you understand? No, I'm saying, ah. No, don't carry your cross and be going, no. If you see this cross is too heavy, drop it. Yeah, okay. Mm-hmm. And, and also mutual respect too is actually very important. So I like what you said about oh um people just expecting ladies to like um lower their voice when it comes to relationship and stuff like that. So let us just respect ourselves and respect everybody's opinion. Everybody's opinion counts. If you want to date me, if you feel like I'm I'm your person, you understand, and you feel like I don't have a voice, why are you with me in the first place? You understand? So let everybody let, let I say something. Let, let even if you don't want to agree, but don't make it look like say okay, what I'm saying is rubbish. You understand? Because just like uh-uh. What am I in the relationship? Am I just a dick? <laughs> am I just yet just looking at you and cooking for you? Because it doesn't make sense. It just makes the person lose value. Um, and um, with time, the person gets like so low self esteem. Even the person is not going to be with you again. You're going to say, like, okay, everything I'm saying doesn't really count. You understand? Yeah. So, relationship- so you're so right. Because <laughs> <You're laughs> so, I feel like there's this, no, I feel like there's this idea. Like, and I'm, I'm going to thank you for saying respects. Like, I feel like, man. <laughs> there is this idea when we again like i said they they do trainings for women so much and then they just leave men and they tell you women want love men want respect <laughs> we both want that idea that men want respect and women want love just makes it very one-sided so the guy is saying as long as i'm loving you and then that's fine like yeah, you don't that's all. Respect, that's all. We need to yeah, it. respect like you cannot be talking to me anyhow because you're yeah, the man Right, so it's not just like you and your partner. How does like how does your family treat like the person you're your your with, right? And how do you um address those issues too? You know, but in terms mm. of the woman, they just feel like the woman has to absorb a lot of disrespect sometimes from the partner and then people like extended families or just families that they are with. So respect is very important mm. as a woman. I think that's yeah said like there's barely anything i was going to also say that messy no no i'm about to start drumming for you (laughs) drop it like it's hot (laughs) drop it drop it for me it's something that she has already mentioned so i don't overflow it but for me it's also a top notch is um communication if this thing is going to work then our expectation have to be placed on the table we have to be able to communicate you have to be able to 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 express yourself how you feel how you don't feel without feeling like oh if i say how i feel i look like um uh -uh." say how you feel and um get to know how they treat your feeling on and um each person's feelings should be validated if the relationship is going to go anywhere each person's ideas and all should be at least recognized. Then um, another thing that I think, another spice for um, a healthy relationship or dating is, um, for me, I feel like also that season is a time where you get to build friendship. I know that different people get to meet their partners. Some people's own is love at first so you just meet the person and you're like, woo, I feel this person. And for some other people, we need to build this friendship. Like one and the person comes in and immediately, probably you were crying, the person comes in and you have to dry your tears. And yet there are other friends that come in and you feel very comfortable shedding tears. People are in such a relationship where you can't even cry in front of your partner. Mm-hmm. It's like, oh, I'll be seen as a weak person. But then you're very comfortable crying in front of other friends. No. Mm-hmm. Up, you know. So you don't want to be with a partner where if you discuss that vision, even though they don't understand it, they are shooting it down or like they are not there for you in like the way mm-hmm. that you want them to be there. Some people will just throw money, but what you want is a conversation with them. Yeah. Them. How yeah. is this my yeah. idea? Yeah. Have, you read my, have, you, have you read my article? Are you commenting? Mm-hmm. Are you sharing me on? Mm-hmm. Are you the number one person sharing me? But if the first person that comes to your head to want to read your article is not the person that you're with, for me, I can't, be, I can't really be with that person yeah um you don't have to find everything in your partner but they have to be accommodating of yeah. the things that you love 
they have to you know support you some people cannot support if they don't understand like what you're saying you know but they should be able to give it yeah to thank you very much <laughs> interesting conversation i told you people from the beginning that's going to be very interesting i really appreciate you people for coming I've thank, you. About, thank you for having I love the conversation and i know that dating um is something very broad. It's not something that somebody can just talk about in one sitting. You understand? It's a lot. And yeah, you have shared your yeah. uh, opinions and um, we have had like nice conversations. I've learned a lot and I'm very sure people are going to learn from this um, video. So thank you guys for coming. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Bye.